Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links. There's a ton of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. Thank you for all the support. It really does mean a lot to me, which enables me to do these free readings for you and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So um, thank you for being a part of the channel's growth. And thank you, thank you. So Sagittarius, this is for singles. Who's coming towards you? When, where, how? That kind of energy. We'll see what we get here. Hopefully it resonates for you, or, um, well, hopefully it does. So let's see what we get here for Sagittarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy November. Happy fall. Okay. Sagittarius singles. Please keep in mind, I could also pick up on a, possibly a past uh, encounter or situation also. Okay, so... I'm going to put that back. I don't feel comfortable taking that. All right, so let's get a couple. Well, we have Leo wanted to fly out. A couple signs of who may be coming towards you. A couple signs here. I'll take that one. So we have Leo, which is a fellow fire sign, and Gemini. So we have two possibilities here of a fellow fire sign, Leo, or an air sign, Gemini. Hmm, okay. Alrighty, so now that we have the signs, possible signs of who may be coming towards you, let's get an energy of who this person is, what kind of person are they, what is their energy, who are they, what are they like. Okay, so who is this person, Spirit, coming into Sagittarius? Who are they? Who, what is their personality? I'm feeling that one. Okay, so we have somebody here, um, and this is air energy, so that can clarify the Gemini here. So this is somebody who, um, now this is an energy of like moving into a more comfortable, peaceful place. So there may be a very calm, peaceful, kind of like a healing energy. Like they have a very healing quality about them. I also feel like they're not afraid to move on from things that are no longer serving them if they need to. Um, they're not afraid to move on with life either. To take chances, to go in a whole new direction, to do what's best for them is what I'm getting also. So they might have been through some things, as you see the face on this person. They look like they've been through maybe a little bit of a struggle. But they still have that perseverance here to keep moving on, to keep moving on in life. So it's kind of a good energy. And sixes, to me, are always a very healed, healing, balancing kind of balanced energy. So they may be a very balanced person also. And they may have some like healing qualities about them that they like exude onto other people. All right, so let's see when. Let's get a time frame. Let's see if we can get a time frame of when Sagittarius could possibly have this person coming into them. So we have Cancer energy here. So Cancer is the end of June to July. So that's like quite a ways off into the distance. Um, and we do have seven here. So it could actually be July, beginning, end of June, beginning of July. Hmm. So that's not till next year, but, and if I do read these cards together, I mean, I think this is someone who, cause you see this card here of also like moving on also. So I think this is a person is not afraid to take chances to, go in a new direction, to move on, to be triumphant. So that's kind of a good energy there. All right, so let's look at like where. Where you can meet this person. Where could Sagittarius meet this person? Wow, okay, I'm going to take that one. 
Okay, so we have water here. So it could be somewhere around water. We have seven again. So this definitely could be in July, beginning of July. Could be on a dock. It could be near the ocean. Could be near a lake, stream, river, somewhere at a body of water kind of energy. So yeah, so somewhere around water. I think you will meet this person. All right, so somewhere around water could be even like at a anything anything with this water and you do see like this man sitting on a dock there so okay so how will you meet this person Sagittarius hmm okay so well, we have three sevens here. Seven, seven, seven. Wow. So to me, sevens are a very spiritual, divine number. And seven happens to be my favorite number. So, so this could be a very divinely guided spiritual person that's coming into you, something that's probably meant to be. So I see around a body of water... Um, I don't know, I'm trying to get with this card, like how, you see like this mask here? Uh, maybe you swimming and you're wearing goggles, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe you lose your goggles or they lose their goggles and you find them or something like that. Or you could be snorkeling and you, you know, and they're snorkeling and you run into each other or something like that. Kind of a weird message, but I mean, if you do look at the mask there, it kind of does look like eye goggles, so. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting with that. Could be, you know, swimming and you have eye goggles on or something like that. And uh, it's how you run into this person. Maybe you even take off your goggles like, oh, who's that? And maybe they catch your eye, you know, and they catch you looking at them or something and vice versa or something like that. All right. <laughs> it's different. Okay. So if you connect with this person... Sagittarius, you connect with this person, what kind of connection will it be? What kind of connection will it be for you, Sagittarius, if you connect with this person? So Sagittarius connects with this person, what kind of connection will it be? Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there could be um, cultural differences. There could be, um, you know, religious factors, cultural differences, you know, and, you know, different ethnic backgrounds or something like that. So there may be some differences between the two of you uh, that may, may or may not be a factor. I don't know, so that's what's coming up for that. Or it could be a very, this to me also speaks of a very strong spiritual connection. I mean, we do have three sevens here. So it could be just a very strong spiritual connection also. Hmm, okay, Sagittarius. So what is your advice? What is your advice with this connection? What is your advice? With this connection, Sagittarius, what is their advice in this connection? What is Sagittarius's advice? Oh, there we go. And we have wisdom. I don't even know how to say that. Phylokine? I don't know. Wisdom. So, so you know, that is about... Uh, just being very wise about the connection, being very uh, wise in your decision making. Um, they may also teach you like a lot of wisdom about their spirituality, their faith, their religion, their ethnic background, their culture, things like that. So it's kind of like keep your ideas, your mind open to them uh, and vice versa. So I think you could learn a lot from each other, a lot of wisdom from one another. Um, that's what I'm getting with that. So, okay. So let's do some tarot. What do we have for the tarot for Sagittarius with this in 
possible incoming person, Sagittarius. Possible incoming person, Sagittarius. Now, I'm not really reading. Um, I mean, I did with these here, but with these two, I'm not really reading like what the cards are saying because I took this as um, where and how you will meet them. And that's what I got about, you know, the water and the swimming and that kind of thing. So I'm not going to really read the energy of those two cards. All right. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, this incoming person, Sagittarius singles, please. This could be for whenever you see this and it's kind of like a timeless reading. So four of cups energy here. So, you know, this is an energy of like not really accepting any offers or not really thinking about offers, just keep feeling kind of bored and uh, complacent. You know, nothing's coming in, nothing's going out. You're not really accepting anything. You know, you're debating, should I send an offer? Should I, shouldn't I? So let's see why that kind of energy is here. Maybe you're in a place right now, that's why you're watching this, where you're kind of bored, complacent, like, Jesus, nothing coming towards me, or anything like that. But Divine is saying, oh no, here's that offer right there that you just don't see it yet, because we got three sevens here. So Divine is saying, there is a Divine offer coming into you. Yeah, another seven. Wow, that's four sevens. Like, looking at all the options, feeling very confused, conflicted, daydreamy kind of energy um, choices. So, it's like you're looking all around you, like, what what's going on? Like, there's nothing, nobody, I can't meet anyone. I, there's, like, nothing. But Divine has your back. You see, you got your back towards the uh, Divine offer, and it's right there. So, Divine knows what's coming into you. All right, so four sevens. Wow. What else? Wait. <laughs> well, <laughs> just saw the seven of swords on top of that pile. So it's like another seven. So I feel like what whoever this is coming in towards you is a very divinely guided. Wow. So it could be a divine feminine here. We have the empress or masculine. Doesn't matter. The empress energy here. So yeah, somebody who's going to be very strong, grounded. Caring, nurturing, giving, um, honest, loving, I mean, embodies, it's like the full embodiment of all the queens of the deck. It's like the mother of the deck. This is the, a birth of new things also. So I think this is a divine person because this is divine feminine energy, but it can be masculine or feminine. So I do feel like this is a divine energy coming in towards you because there's a divine offer, divine energy. Uh, four sevens. Wow. You may want to look up angel number seven, 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 seven. Wow. Okay. So what else do we have for Sagis? The two of wands. So it's the energy of, that's the fire energy. You know, so that is an energy of, um, you know, making plans, looking out into the distance, you know, making plans, decisions for the future. Hmm. So let's see why the two of wands is here. And this, this person, the six of cups. Wow. Soulmate energy here. Um, soulmate energy. So this is somebody new who's coming towards you. But I mean, it could be somebody that you already know from the past that you haven't seen in a very long time. Six of cups talks about... Um, People, places, things from your past, uh, your childhood, you know, your first job, college. It's a soulmate connection. Somebody, also somebody could be returning. So if it's somebody you haven't seen in a very, very long time, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody new. The Six of Cups always represents a soulmate uh, energy here. So I think you're just going to see this person. Are they going to see you? And want to make instantly like connect and make plans with each other, either you with them, them with you, or something like that. It's going to be like an instant um, 
connection here with the Six of Cups in it. You could even have past lives with this person. Um, it's like you're just going to know. It's like these two people just know the connection here. Wow. All right. So what else was Sagittarius with this incoming person? Uh, I think you're just going to share like all your wisdom with one another. Seven of Wands. So I had seen the Seven of Swords. And now we got the Seven of Wands. So lot we got one, two, three, four, five, sevens. So that's just ridiculous. Wow. Seven of Wands. Fire energy. That's the Leo there. Being defensive on guard. Fighting for something. Fighting for something here. So what are we fighting for? Is it for this connection? Fighting for this connection because it's right under religious factors. So it could be that, you know, you have very different cultural backgrounds, uh, ethnic backgrounds, and maybe your family's just not going to approve of the other person. But I think you're not going to care about that. You're just going to want to fight for this relationship because you're going to see, you know, it's just a strong soulmate connection. And you're just going to make plans here to move forward with this person because you see them. Or they see you as an emperor, empress kind of energy. It's like, I've been confused for so long. Nothing coming into me. I'm lonely and sad. Nothing. And then, bam, here comes this divine emperor, empress energy. And making plans. Soulmate energy. Standing up for the connection. Fighting for it. Wow. Okay. What else? What else do we have? The Sagittarius. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Five of Pentacles. So this is an energy of being, you know, like lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected kind of energy, kind of sad, lonely kind of energy. Hmm. I don't know. I just feel like it belongs over here. Because I think here you're in this energy before this person comes into you, a feeling like neglected, sad, and lonely you know, looking and looking and looking and you just can't find anything here. Just feeling like sad and lonely. Woe is me. No, nothing, like nothing, nothing. And then bam, this divine person shows up. Now we're making plans. We recognize it's a strong soulmate connection and we're standing up and fight, fighting for this connection. Wow. It's like, wow. All right. So what else? What else? Prince of Cups, so yeah, taking that action movement in love here. Moving forward in love. Knight energy with the Prince is movement. So moving forward in love and defending it, standing up for it, knowing it's a soulmate energy, making plans for the future of this divine energy here. So we get one more for Saggy, one more for Saggy. Now we got the Princess of Pentacles, which is the offer, communication, something coming in. So it could be an offer of, you know, commitment or even marriage in the future, you know, down the road to build something here, stable, grounded for the long term, wanting to commit for long term. Wow. Pentacles are all about stability, growth, expansion, building on a firm foundation, usually for long term stable energy world here closing out cycles starting new cycles okay so now we have the emperor at the bottom and i had just said that emperor empress so i feel like this is a very divine soulmate connection here could possibly even be a twin flame connection if you know what that is and now we got the queen of cups so again love emotions here Two of Cups again with the soulmate union. Wow. Again, making plans, working together, collaborating, teamwork, working together for to build the future. Wow. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Well, I see a possible soulmate twin flame connection here. It could be with a Leo or a Gemini. And uh, so if you go to the ocean or near water around... The end of June to July, pay attention, especially if you're snorkeling, swimming, or something like that. Somebody else's. That could be a person. 
Okay, Sagittarius, if you like this reading, if you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. You'll get a singles reading who's coming towards me. You'll get a love connection reading, uh, someone you feel you have a connection with. You'll get a general forecast reading, which is a general reading, and you'll get a spirit messages, what you need to know at this time from your spirit guides. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe at the bell and you won't miss out. You'll receive all the notifications. And if you do, thank you in advance. So good luck to you here, Sagittarius, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.